My name is Oliver Reichel. I'm one of three inventory arborists uh, doing the municipal tree inventory here for the city of Windsor. Everything is done sort of in uh, in digital form. So we have a, uh, a data logger or a tablet uh, where we enter the data and there's a form that pops up for every tree. Uh, the software automatically numbers, gives the tree a number. Uh, we have drop down lists for species and a bunch of fields. So the main one being uh, the size of the tree, in this case diameter, in this case this guy was 80. City Windsor has about 70,000 street trees and another 30,000 trees in our city parks like this one beside us here. On a daily basis we receive perhaps 10 to 12 service calls for these trees and after a major storm we could end up with 300 or more service calls to look after these trees. So we have to know where these trees are, what they are in order to manage and look after these trees. They are a highly valuable resource and so the inventory is all about looking after them. So the inventory has several parts to it. We first go in, we identify the species of tree, then we will GPS locate it. That is something new in our inventory. We don't have that information. It'll make it much easier in future to find any specific tree that we're looking for. We then measure the size parameters. We measure the diameter, identify if there's multiple stems, two or three more will require a different management technique for that tree than a single stem. Then we start to look at its physical condition. We look for things like cavities and cracks, whether it is interfering with our city infrastructure, sidewalks, overhead wires, things like that. Then we will look at the health of the tree. We will look for insect or disease symptoms. We will look to see if it's defoliated or chlorotic, going yellow. Those all indicate that something isn't quite right with this tree and that it may require at some stage some, some kind of attention, some remedial action to improve its health. This time around we have a specific 20 point list of things that we are looking for. So we will actually, once this inventory is all done, be able to look for how many trees across the city have cracks or cavities and come up with an actual number. It'll help our ongoing planning for future management. Another interesting part of this inventory is it's revealed that we have ash trees left in the city. EAB, Emerald Ash Borer, passed through the Windsor area in the early 2000s, 2004, 2005. At that time, we had 7,000 large city street trees, ash. Most of those were removed. Um, we thought that pretty much our whole inventory of ash trees was, was gone, except for a scattered few individuals. So far, the inventory has turned up about 400 ash trees still in existing in Windsor on city streets. And some of those are sizable trees. They would have been alive 20 years ago when EAB passed through. The assessment also indicates that some of those trees still have EAB or signs and symptoms of that bug present, yet they're alive. And for the most part, they are indicated by the inventory assessment as being healthy, good form trees. So we are going to be in the future working with Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources and they are going to come and look at those trees and try to determine why those individuals have survived or why they are reproducing and why they are still here, why they haven't been wiped out. I'm going to say this tree in, in, has good structure and still good vitality. And it's got overhead utilities and that might be all I have to say about this guy. The root flare looks good. What kind of oak is it? Uh, this is an English oak.